All right, I'm back, here we go. I just recharged my camera. There's another hour's work in this, so we'll be fine. We will be fine. Um, let's continue on with this. I was just putting in the beams, or there are some of the internal beams, just to give it a bit of structure. Um, now, I'm gonna start putting in some of the light. And I'm basically gonna use a little flat brush, okay? And I'm going to take some cadmium yellow and a touch of bur uh, cadmium red yellow and red, those two and let's just see nice kind of solid brush strokes I'm just going to put that in here and there and this now is only the first stage, this is the early stage we'll be doing a lot of this so nice thick paint on the brush, see and let's put a lovely, look at that lovely glow right inside the building, isn't that lovely? And we can put some down here under the eaves of the roof. So kind of coming down. So you can see how that just really kind of, it draws you right in, doesn't it? And it really brings the painting to life. Now I will put a little, just here. So there could be like a lamp or, a, or something over in that corner. Shining light on this wall. Put a little bit in between the beams like so. And I'll put some on the beams as well now very shortly. So that's a lovely, rich kind of a glow in there, isn't it? Now we could even make it brighter by taking some cadmium yellow into that and a touch of titanium white. So then we're putting some real bright lights in there. So let's put a real bright highlight now right inside here in this corner, look. And I could put some, perhaps just around here and there. So you can see now that's really bright, isn't it? It's really the lovely warm sunlight inside there. And it's very important not to have any blue on your brush because it will go green. If you have even the slightest touch of blue on your brush, you'll end up with a kind of a green, a dirty green colour. So just bear that in mind, keep them very, very clean. Now I'm going to go to a pointy brush, a nice clean pointy brush, and I'm going to take some of that light colour and just add some of that to some of the beams, just to give the beams some form. See? Just here and there. Now, there's a couple in fact, look, let's zoom in for you. Let me zoom in altogether. So you can see what I'm doing then exactly. Now, is that better? So there's all kind of beams and timbers and stuff kind of going around inside this building. So I'm taking some burnt sienna and I'm just going to indicate a few here and there. Now, it's just, it's kind of a suggestion. I'm just suggesting to the viewer that there's all these kind of timber beams around here and there some might have little shadows on them, some, some might not um, one here and then there's a kind of one coming across like that it's just a very loose impression that's all again I don't want to go crazy with this Um, let's take some burnt cyanide. I'll put a hint of some there. There's a lovely thick beam on this corner of the building here, isn't there? And also there's one at that side. So I'm using the burnt cyanide because it's a warm brown, as opposed to just burnt umber. So I'm thinking burnt cyanide and then even burnt cyanide with some black would be another 
nice combination. Um, let's put that there. And look, with some burnt umber, actually, let's suggest some little bits of the log on the walls. See? Just a little, little, bit, tiny bit here and there. And even inside, you could suggest little bits of it here and there again. And I'm just kind of suggesting a little bit of detail inside in the building. So look, I'll take some black actually, and I'm going to put black up here. There's a very strong beam coming down there. Two of them, in fact. And I'll put us a little hint on the front one here. So that you see, the dark colours then will really complement the light colours. Do you understand? And that will make the light colours pop even more. So I come down here now and put a little there. Do some on the back of that. Okay, wash that off your brush and let's go for some burnt sienna again. And I put some of that burnt sienna across the bottom here. So I'm really enjoying this now. It's real kind of it's kind it's coming to life on the canvas, isn't it? It's really fantastic. Now I want to get a very bright colour in there. So I'm going to take some cadmium yellow and some white. And a really kind of a luminous colour, like there's a lamp, a couple of lamps here and there. Isn't that right? And that's just adding more detail as well. So let's put a couple, a few little bits here and there, you see? There's a couple of hints of colour. And there could be one hanging from the ceiling there, you see it? So you can kind of see now what I'm trying to, trying to do. And that's not half bad now, is it? We do have one more post, which I forgot to put in, just here. Alright. Just a little suggestion there. Lovely jubbly. Sit back, take a look. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That is nice, isn't it? Now this next section here, I'll use a flat brush for this next one, I think. So a nice, clean flat brush. And again, I'll take some cadmium yellow, lots of cadmium yellow, you see? Lots of that on the brush. And I'll take a hint of red, just a touch. That should give us a nice warm colour. And let me check this here now. Okay, that's a little bright. I want it slightly darker. So a bit more red. And look at, oh look at that, nice rich orange colour. That's nice. I like that. Now this actually comes across and straight down like this, doesn't it? And these are these are actual windows, so I'll paint in the windows in just a moment. Let me just get some nice rich colours. I'll take a touch more red. And let's put a hint of red. Perhaps down in this corner here. Now oh, how's that? Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? So back to our small brushes again. And I'll take a nice dark brown. So let's take some dark burnt umber here. To start with. Plenty of turpentine. And a nice watery mix of burnt umber. And let's put in, let's just concentrate now on getting the frame, frame in. Now it does come straight down here, doesn't it? And let's go with that again. And I'll sharpen the sides and I'll sharpen the bottom as well. And let's go across the top. And then we have 
two pillars coming down, don't we? So one, two. How's that? Now I don't like the side of that one there. I want to make the yellow just that bit wider here. Just to lose some of the brown on that side. That's a bit, yeah, that's a bit better now I would say, isn't it? So let's go in now and give it some highlight. So I'll take some Naples yellow with a little burnt sienna. And I just want to give some of these a little dab of highlight. Um, okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to put a very rich orange colour here and there inside these windows. So plenty of yellow and plenty of red. Loads of red actually. And I just want to warm it ever so slightly just here and there. To give it that nice cosy feeling. So I'm going to put a bit around here too. Just to kind of catch your eye. Okay, you can see. Yeah, that seems to work pretty nicely. And then again, cleaning the brush, I'll go back into my bright yellow with some white. And put a hint of that just here and there. To simulate, perhaps there's a lamp or something. Somewhere in the room. So that looks quite nice now, doesn't it? Um... Okay, we are looking pretty good on this, I would say. Now I will bring a bit more of that colour just here and there. And what I want to do then is I just want to put some highlights across the top of the roof. So I'm going to take some white, I'll take a touch of Naples yellow and a touch of crimson. And the reason for that is, I just want to warm very slightly. Let's try a touch of cadmium actually. I just want to very warm very slightly the top of the roof just here and there. I'm just mixing it up here now. Let me just try this now for a moment. You see, I just want to hit the tops just here and there. A little of that warm colour. Now let's put a bit more pink into this. All right. Now does it? I want to brighten the front of those eaves. So with some phthalo blue and plenty of white. Loads and loads of white. I want to just go over these quickly, very quickly. And just add just a little bit, you see. And we'll put a piece along the front here. Um, Alright, we'll possibly lighten. So I'm doing quite a bit of work now on the roof here, but I want it to be really nice, all right? So I think, yeah, I think that kind of works a little better, doesn't it? Now while we have this colour, we could also add a bit more blue to the shadows of these trees here, perhaps. So a touch more of that blue. Phthalo blue, that is. Just to bring them out a little bit more. Just a, just a touch. Okay. I think that, that works. And you can even soften this in them with some of your, with your fingertips or a blender brush. Remember, bad for your fingers. I've been told off many times 
for doing this with my fingers. Right, let me zoom back now slightly and we take a look at what we have. Oh, that's nice though, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? That's coming on very nice. Now I will put a touch of black just in amongst the dark here. Just here and there, look, just to separate those two sections. Now, just a touch. So, how are we doing? I think we're doing pretty well. We move on now and do some of the snow along the front and then the reflections. I'm very excited about my reflections. I'm looking forward to doing these. So I take again this, see I've almond loosened on the brush and what I want to do there is just look, fix up any little pieces that need fixing. Okay, and so for here example, just in this corner in here, a little bit there. And I mix a nice snow, a nice snow colour for this. So let's take some titanium white, some phthalo blue, and a touch of magenta. I'm sticking with magenta this time now because it's a lovely cool pink. And let's put that along there now, like so. Give it a little wiggle here and there. And I could add touches of magenta into it as well. You see, look, just as I go. And okay, we go straight across the front of this. No, oh, how about that? And what I want to do actually is soften some of that in the distance, yes? So it could, it's, it's a very sharp edge, isn't it? Let's try and soften this now very gently into those trees behind because they are still wet. Just to take, you see, just take the kind of, take the edge off of them. Isn't that right? Isn't that a bit better? Would you say so? I'm going to switch now to another flat brush again. In fact, I'll switch to my small stubby brush. And I'm going to put some highlights now here and there. So let's take some white. And I'm mixing everything in the same spot, you see. Some white, some magenta, and a touch of the blue. So I'll start with this colour now. First, it's kind of a light pink, isn't it, for all the world? It's like a light pink. And I just want to put some of that here and there. Just under the house. So it's just, I suppose, to create some texture on the snow rather than anything else. And we can put it a little bit through the snow here and there. See? It just brightens it up only just slightly. And what I want to do then is take some of the light colour um, I want to reflect this nice warm colour onto some of the sand, or the, the snow, do you hear me, jeez, what am I saying? So, some, what I did was, I took some Naples yellow, I didn't mix it because it would go green, I blew my brush already, so I took some Naples yellow, look, and I took some of the crimson, and I mixed those together, a fair amount of each, and that nice warm colour then, look, we'll put a line here and there. Now, you want more crimson in this because you don't want it going green. So you can see it's a nice warm pink. It's not a cool pink, but a warm, nice warm pink. Alright, so give the brush a clean again. And let's pick up some more of that. And those lovely warm colours now we see will reflect down onto that snow. Let's try some Naples yellow in this. And put a hint of that here and there as well. So 
so you can see what I mean it has that little bit of a glow now on the snow doesn't it so I want to darken it now just down at the river bank here there's a little bank so I want to darken that and let's take some phthalo blue let's take some crimson and a touch of black and just around the bank I'm just going to wiggle my flat brush side to side soften some of that in all the way along, see? and pull it back then up onto the snow isn't that a lovely little bank we have there now? see? it's easy, it's just simple as that now if you really want to define it more you could just take a bit of black we'll say and just add tiny little lines just here and there look just to give it more definition just nice and lightly so let me see now how are we looking with this okay we're looking pretty good there yeah that's quite nice I'm going to get rid of some of the orange on the top of that roof there I'm not happy with that I'll replace it with more of a pinky colour okay I could even put a nice whitey blue up there that might look quite nice too wouldn't it let's try that a nice whitey blue Oh. Okay. Yeah, that'll do fine. I will um I'll fix some details in a moment. Actually with that colour look, we could put some highlights on the snow as well. Just drag a couple of highlights along here and there. It's just adding interest into the painting, that's all I'm doing. I'm not Trying to paint anything in particular, uh, just give it some, you know, a bit of texture. Alright, let's leave it at that and let's move on to our water. Now we can add more little details into this in a moment, okay? Not to worry about that. Let's just get on and get our water done. So, uh, big stubby brush. I love it, it's fantastic isn't it, lovely brush I'll dampen that very slightly and let's get some nice, really nice warm colours now for the bottom here so I'll start with the blues, so I'm going to start with the blues and work in ok I'm going to take some Thalo blue again, dampen your brush so Thalo blue, I'll take some crimson and plenty of it let me just try that now for a moment that's not bad. Let's try magenta. Just a touch. And let's go up here now and pull that colour right down. Look at that. Right into the bank, see? And as it comes over, I'm going to add touches of white into this just to lighten it ever so slightly. Now I'm going to stop when I get to the house where I think the house is going to be. I'm going to stop, look I'll pull it down like that and stop it there so now I can concentrate on this side pulling downwards all the time now every now and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my brush quickly like that just to get the bulk of it off and take a bit more red perhaps let's try some magenta with crimson and add little touches of that here and there and you can even take some white with some thalo blue and we could pull some of that down here and there see just to add to the reflection just to make it more natural 
So you can understand now what I'm doing there. You can see it nice and clearly. Now when I'm coming to the house, there's only a hint of a kind of an orange in the reflection, isn't there? So I'm going to start adding more red into this. So let's get plenty of magenta now and plenty of crimson. And I'm going to start bringing red into this. So we now have like a pink, don't we? And I know it looks a bit funny now at the moment, but persevere, keep going at it, I'll show you. Let's take a touch of blue. I'm just focusing on warm colours now, not cold colours, but warm colours. Just for now. And if you even pull it out into the blue, look here and there. So it's a nice transition then from one colour to the next, isn't it? Okay, let's get some more magenta. Beautiful colour, isn't it, magenta? It's a very, very kind of a unique colour. And let's take some of that. Let's take a touch of the blue again. And let's come across. So it's getting slightly cooler. That doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. And let's go some more blue, some magenta again, a little touch of crimson. And it's lovely to see all these nice rich colours, isn't it? And brush strokes always up and down, up and down. I don't go sideways when I'm painting a river like this or a reflection. I always paint up and down. So I'm pulling the brush strokes down constantly. Now I will into that just take a touch of white. I want to just lighten here and there. See? Just a hint. And if we go through the red. So I'm just kind of sort of blending all these colours together now, all these lovely colours. And I like that kind of warm colour. I might add a bit more red over here. That's a lovely colour, isn't it? Nice warm colouring. Now how's that looking so far? It's pretty good, isn't it? Now all we need to do is add some... Now let me take some blue here for a moment. Just blew this up slightly. All you have to do now is add some of the light for this house or this lodge. So some yellows now into this and that's why they put red in this section here so that the yellows won't tend to go very green. They might not go green at all, I hope so. But that's why they put the red there to neutralize any of that. Now I'm just cleaning a flat brush here. A normal old flat brush. Um, it's a bigger size up. It's a number six. A size six flat. And it's clean. So nice warm colours here now. Let's reflect these. Let's take some cadmium yellow. Bring it down here into this nice lovely orangey colour that we had. And let's take some cadmium red. Now we could actually start with the cadmium red. And let's just come down here and pull down here and there. Well, that reflection might be. Now each time clean your brush because as soon as that hits the, the blue there's going to start you start having a green on your canvas, a very slight green. So let's do it again. More red, a touch of cadmium yellow and let's go over to this side. So you see I'm just starting with the red. I can put yellow on top of the red then easier, you see? It'll be much, much easier and it will stay. I'm not mixing it too much either, by the way. I'm just putting like a brush stroke on and leaving it. I don't want to kind of disrupt it too much. So let's give our brush a quick clean now and take a sup of coffee. Isn't that a must? Let's have a sip of coffee every now and again too. Let's go back into cadmium yellow and hmm, I'm thinking a touch of crimson 
just a touch and let's try putting some of that in now you see what I did just very solid brush strokes and let's put one or two here So if I kept mixing around with that once or twice, if I kept going over it, I'd probably I would probably end up with a kind of a greeny colour. So that's why I kind of just kept it sort of one or two strong brush strokes, you see? And just very kind of be pur be, be very purposeful when you're doing it. Just say, yeah, come on, let's really go for it. Look at that. And then we can add a hint of those dark pillars just by the window. So we could even add a hint of, of some of these too, you see? With some burnt umber. Just a little bit here and there, that's all. And a hint of some on that side. Now let's take some burnt umber and a touch of black and let's put in this little dark patch just there, see? Now how's that looking? I think we're pretty much finished the reflection for now, just for now. I'm Actually what I will do there look is with a small pointy brush let's just take some yellow and some white lots of it, lots of thick yellow and white here now for this and reflect some of the light fitting, that kind of stuff. So look, we have a very bright one just there, and a little bit there. And we have a little bit, perhaps, on this window here, and a touch there. See, just kind of catch your eye, kind of draw you in. Understand? Now I'm going to take a very clean blender brush. If I have one, I should have a clean one there somewhere. Let me just take a look. There we go. A nice clean one. And I'm going to very gently, very, very gently pull all of this down. Now I'll start with the yellows because I don't want to go over the blue and then go over the yellow. That will make green. So I'll start with the yellows and I'll pull very gently as if I'm holding a feather. Straight down all the way. Look, straight down. And then, without disturbing it too much, give that a clean now again, I'll pull it just leftwards like this, look. And that'll create little ripples through the paint. You see, it'll pick up some of the thick paint and cause little tiny ripples. Isn't that lovely? And at this stage, we can go over the blue then as well. So pulling all this now in together, you see? How's that looking? Now I think I will put in a little, a little bit of ripples with my knife. Let me try it. I think just to separate the bank properly. Now it's not in the photograph, but I think it would might, it might kind of lift it up a little bit. So I'll take just a little bit of white with some blue. It doesn't have to be very, be a very bright colour, just a very light blue. And let's just put one or two of these through that reflection and that will kind of bring it to life. Up there by that river bank, right the way along and a couple just here and there in the dark because that will really bring the painting right up to life, doesn't it? You see, it's just one or two, just to break up. Just to break up the reflection, that's all. And then I'll again soften those very, very gently then with the soft brush, okay? Very gently. Isn't that lovely? 
No. Also, it softens some of the snow up here as well. Let's make it more of a soft, kind of a powdery snow, yes? There we go. Right, on to some details. I have a couple of details that I want to finish. Up around by the house here. So I'm just going to take some black and a touch of red and just put a few little details here and there. Suggest little bits and pieces kind of going on. Would you agree? Um, let's suggest a fence, shall we? Let's put in a fence, come on. Little small fence kind of leading off and a little piece going across the middle like so and we could also just suggest a few little in fact let's clean the brush and take some of the light colour and suggest some highlights let me just get some of that orange some highlights coming out of the window hitting stuff outside the building also see one one here and there on the fence like that and let's also put I want to reflect a little bit of the glow up on the trees so let me just zoom in so you can see properly now that's better isn't it I'm going to take some crimson with a touch of the cadmium yellow and just here and there I want to reflect some of that colour onto the trees you see okay just there and there um, a little bit kind of around here at the back of the building No. So look, that's that bad now, is it? I did forget to put in the chimney. So it needs a chimney, doesn't it? Let's put a little chimney here. And let's put a tiny shadow from that coming down the roof and we will then add some snow around the top of that there little chimney Sure, it needs to have it has to have a chimney, doesn't it? If they're going to be burning timber and all sorts of stuff in there, they have to have a chimney. In fairness, and okay, bring that across there a bit more. Oh wait, we're doing well. We're looking good. Looking very good. I add a little touch of detail into the um, house itself, the the cabin. You know, just a, a hint of detail just here and there. I put some nice uh, light colouring down at the bottom here. Oh yes, I said I wanted to fix that roof. I'm not happy with the roof just around here. I'm going to straighten that and also I want to bring that dark colour just over a bit further here that's a bit better now isn't it so let's hmm, actually a little hint of light just here and there on the snow look where it's reflecting the light down ok 
Okay, just a hint. And we have our fences done. Lovely jubbly. I'll lighten the very tips of the distant trees, I think, just slightly. Let me just get some nice fresh colour here now. I think I'll just lighten them up very, very slightly, just here and there. is falling all over the place here. Right, here we go. And I would say we're pretty much finished. I would call this finished. I won't overcomplicate it. I want to keep it simple. Um, I might just add a touch of the warmer colour into the reflection there because there's a hint of kind of red colour here and there and I want to make it nice and warm. Okay, there we go. And the same with this side because there was a lot of rich colour in there. And I'll just soften that very gently now with my blender brush. So it is time to sign. Let's sign our painting. Look at this. And this is going to be going to one lucky person. Let me get some white here now and let me sign this nice. Sign this properly. I'll, I'll go over here, look. Now. S. Conway. And someday if I'm famous you can sell it and make lots of money. Okay? Now I'm just going to, you see I'm fiddling now, I just see little things that I want to fix. Um, I'm going to lighten some of these, add a bit more snow onto some of them. It does help, it makes a difference, all these little, little things. Okay, job done. How about a person? Should we put a person somewhere off in the distance? What do you think? I'm thinking somebody probably walking towards the house. So let's just put in a figure first in black, right? Remember, it's just like a carrot. And we'll put the head leaning forward. No. We've gone a bit big now with that, but sure, we'll fix it. And I'll put a hint of light hitting him from the house. So he's walking toward the house. And let's put a little Let's put a little warmth on him. And a slight shadow, yes? What do we think? A little, slight little shadow just coming off of him and even some little footprints. There. Job done. I'm very, very happy with that. Let me just take this now and zoom in, show you what we've done. So a very loose impression of the hills in the background. Then some nice little trees, look. Some nice thick paint on those trees. And then that's nice, isn't it? And we come down then to our little lodge or our cabin as it's called. And it's just very loose brush strokes, you see, it's just hitting the brush on the canvas here and there. 
There were fence and a little person walking towards the house. And down to our reflections. So it's nice and simple. But it works, doesn't it? So that, my friends, is it. It's time to pick a winner for this painting. Let me straighten this. Now I'm going to go and get my daughter up because my daughter wants to do this for YouTube. She wants to commit and she wants to work and she wants to help you all. So I'm going to go and get my daughter. I have all the names in the bucket. Look, I'll show you. I have loads of names on the bucket here. There's about a hundred and odd, maybe more. And she's going to pick one out live on camera. Okay? There's a lot of names here. So I wish you all the best. Don't come anywhere, I'll be right back. So hi guys! Hello, this is my daughter Ava and... Today I will be picking um, the people out of this raffle, big Pick, bucket. Picking a name. Yeah, I'll be picking, I'll pick, I'll pick the yeah. name out of the Ava's bucket. Ava's picking a name out of this bucket and the winner will get that lovely painting that I just finished. Isn't that, is that nice? Yeah, can I have it? No, <laughs> no you can't. It looks nice, it's I like it. Whoever wins this is going to be lucky since so that painting is really nice. Thank you. So right, here we go, we're off and I'm going to go and mix it all up. Mix it all up. I don't look. Okay, and pick up one name then on one piece of paper. Right, we have... Geraldine. Geraldine Alexander. Geraldine Alexander. Alexander. So Geraldine Alexander, you've won the painting. You have congratulations. To, congratulations. Yay! I big bet clap. you thought you won one. <laughs> big clap. And I will send you uh, a comment on your YouTube channel if you don't find or if you don't see this result. Um, but send me a, your full name and address and an email to my email address. Well, thank you very, very much. I hope you like the painting. I'll package it and I'll send it as soon as I get your address. Okay? So, congratulations. I hope you like it. Say goodbye to the camera. Bye bye. Goodbye, everyone. I will see you again very, very soon for another tutorial. God bless and goodbye. Bye.